This is January 05 A21 and um, previously called module 4 and this is question 4. Define simple harmonic motion. So simple harmonic motion um, is the motion of an object whose, and then it's all about acceleration, so two bits to it. Acceleration is directly proportional to its displacement and whose acceleration is always directed towards a fixed point or the centre of the oscillation. So you need two bits to that and you can see there's two marks. So the acceleration directed proportion to the displacement and always directed towards the fixed point. Now part B um, wants you to use the t equals 2 pi over square root of m over k equation which isn't on the syllabus anymore so I'm not going to give you an answer to that. Part C however you can do. A mechanical system which is under undergoing forced vibration may show resonance. Describe briefly what is meant by resonance. Illustrate your answer with reference to a mechanical vibrating system explaining how resonance occurs. So there's only three marks in total for this. So you're going to first of all describe what resonance is. So resonance when a system <coughs> is made to undergo forced oscillations at its natural frequency. It oscillates with a maximum amplitude. So there's two bits to that really too. There's only one mark for that part. That's the one mark. Um, so it says then, with reference, explain this uh, illustrate your answer with reference to the example of a mechanical vibrating system, um, explaining how resonance occurs. Now you could give any example that you want. Um, the cogs of a clock or a child in a swing, somebody pushing a child in a swing, or I'm going to give an example of a diver on a diving board. Um, so what happens there is that when a diver makes a board oscillate at natural frequency, so he jumps at the right times, or she don't jumps at the right times, um, then they achieve maximum height. In other words, because the board um, has a maximum amplitude, because the board has a maximum amplitude, so it's when the that's the frequency of their legs. Um, then they achieve maximum height. So that's an example. And you could also then draw your big graph if you want. And it's a very good idea. There's a big space left there, so it's a very good idea to do that. Draw your big graph, F naught, um, driving frequency of the diver. It just ensures that you're definitely picking up all your marks. And then this is the amplitude. So if you've got time, get that, all that in there. Think maybe, have we think about what you need in your answer to get your three marks.